Shoot. Yep. Oh! Oh! Did you guys know you can't buy these unless you're 18? I mean, for probably understandable reasons, people like to do inappropriate things with them. All right, I'm not gonna discuss that in today's video, but it's kind of weird. It's kind of interesting that these are one of the things that you're just not allowed to buy until you're 18. Uh, also, another weird thing in that category that doesn't make any sense to me are party poppers, like little confetti cannons. You can't buy those if you're under 18. Skylar and I made that mistake one time. We were at Walmart, it was the 4th of July, and oh, This thing just shut off. Okay, all right, enough spring cleaning for today. <laughs> this clearly is not effective. Anyways, what is up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Battle Revolution. Let's play something, something, something. If you guys missed the previous episode, be sure to go back and peep it. It was absolutely beautiful. As you can see here, we are here at the Coliseum Leader. I decided to play it off camera. I decided to get back up to where we had left off and uh, and just screw the whole replaying this Coliseum 50 billion times. I'm honestly so sick of doing this Coliseum. And I know you guys are sick of doing the Coliseum. So what I did was I put together a little bit of a new team. There's no legendaries. There's no Suicune, no Darkrai, and off camera I just grinded up and uh, and got to this point in the Coliseum. So hopefully we'll be able to finish it today and then move on to the Crystal Coliseum. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, one of the keys, one of the main things that I've been taking advantage of uh, with these battles and the reason why I've been able to make it this far is because I have been able to time my attacks to where I'm able to get the Pokemon that I need. Basically, we need our Pokemon and not theirs because their Pokemon are absolute garbage it's actually embarrassing i mean then again this is the the final uh the final battle so maybe the pokemon are going to be a little better i don't know but that's a del caddy okay we got the structure though we got skip loom unfortunately that's not exactly what we need right now in terms of how i'm timing this it's really just a guess uh but we got pip there that's really really nice i feel like <gasps> she has my son she's a kidnapper rosie how dare you how dare you? All right, we have a pretty respectable team, and the only really good Pokemon she has is my son, so I think we're in the clear here. I think we got this. If if we end up losing at the final battle and I had to do a jump cut to redo the entire Coliseum, I would have been so bad, so freaking mad if I could speak English. She's literally a Roserade! Oh my god, no wonder her name's Rosie. I didn't make the correlation there, but yo, that's freaking sweet. Anyways, um, yeah, no, if I had to redo this costume again, I actually would have cried. It took me, like, uh, probably about an hour to get back up to this point just because of the fact that I had to actually do the thing twice because I ended up losing the first time. It was an absolute mess. But anyways, we're good to go. Everything is fine. Thank you guys for your patience. Let me put on my wrist strap before I hurt somebody. Uh, I just realized it was not. I was kind of thrusting my hand in the general direction of my monitor, and I got a little bit scared there. Not even going to lie. I thought I was going to kill somebody. I thought I was going to hurt somebody. Definitely don't want to do that. We're going to go for, I think, the... Um, Let's see. Let's be very, very smart here. We're going to go for the fly on Beautifly. Ah, the fly on Beautifly. Uh, Skip Loom, you're kind of useless. We're going to go for, I guess, actually, Skip Loom has a powerful moveset. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I, I'm sorry to make assumptions like that. Skip Loom's sitting over here with a god tier moveset. Delkai is going to go for the fake out. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I think this final battle is actually going to be incredibly tough. I should really. Really, really focus up. Skip Loom's gonna go for the sleep powder. He's gonna miss, though. Come on, Skip Loom. You have that powerful moveset, but you can't take advantage of it. How dare you? How dare you betray me? Anyways, a uh, little bit of an update for you guys. I'm recording this on June 26th. So I'm recording it the day it's going up. Hopefully, it goes up on time, crossing my fingers. I have a, a lot of recording to do today, so hopefully everything works out. Also, side note, I totally pulled an all-nighter last night, so your boy is a little bit exhausted. Sorry if the commentary is all over the place, but I I literally got like four hours of sleep after pulling an all-nighter. So, you know, four hours of sleep, I can, I can survive off four hours of sleep, but the thing that really kills me is the fact that I had stayed up until 8 a.m., right this morning slept for four hours woke up and now i'm here that's what killed me and all last night i was working my butt off you guys don't even know what's coming all right it's gonna be a surprise that's that's kind of the point of not knowing what's coming is because i want to catch you guys off guard but anyways this saturday peep the channel uh that's all i'm gonna say new series it's about to be freaking nuts we're gonna go for the sleep powder actually no no no, no we're not let me pay attention to the battle here let's go for the sunny day Actually, should we not do that? Because we do have some... Whoa. Yeah, we have Pip. 
We have Pip. I don't want to weaken his water type attacks. I don't think, you know, the ability to launch off solar beams in one turn is really worth that. We'll go for the Leech Seed instead on Delcaddy. Um, what was that? What did I do with Star After? I went for Fly, right? Yeah, okay, cool. I got a little bit confused there. I was a little bit thrown off. I should really be focusing more so on the game here. Like, when I wasn't having to worry about commentary, I was all focused. I'm not gonna lie, that really, really helped out. Skiploom's paralyzed, of course, because Skiploom is freaking useless. I called it! Look at my son! Look at my son! We haven't actually had the, uh, the chance to show off my son in the video series, but there he is, man. He's so big. He's so beautiful. I love how he's actual size. Uh, I was using him on my way up to this point in the Coliseum, and he's just so freaking beautiful! Look at him, man! This is why I love Waylord. This is genuinely why I love Whaler, just because of the fact that he he just dominates the field, and his size is so impressive. I love it so much. All right, I'm going to go for the Solar Beam and Delcaddy instead. We'll try and get that charged up. The Paralysis could end up destroying us. Um, anyways, I'm going for the Brave Bird, though, straight away on my son, just because of the fact that he does have Water Spout, and I want to get him down to a reasonable amount of health to where that Water Spout doesn't just kill everything. You guys have no idea. Water Spout is so incredibly broken. Um, yeah, there's the water spout. It's a good thing I weakened him down. Now we should be able to take these hits. No problem at all. But yeah, no, when I was using my son on my way up the ladder here, he was utterly annihilating with water spout. It's actually not fair. Um, let's go for, I guess, close combat. Yeah, actually, let's go, let's go for the close, if I can speak English. Let's go for the close combat on Delcaddy. That way we can try and knock out Delcaddy, and then the solar beam will hit my son. That would actually be smart. I don't know why I was targeting Delcaddy with the solar beam, but if we can finish him off in this turn... Uh, we can, yes! Look at my boy go! Now the solar beam will target my son, and that'll be a perfect play. An impeccable play on my part. But anyways, hopefully guys having a fantastic day today. My day has been pretty good. Uh, hasn't been too eventful. It's currently 2.52 p.m. And, uh, literally all I've done is played Battle Revolution. I, I woke up at around 11 o'clock, noon-ish. Um, so I just got a little bit of a, a little bit of a nap in there. And, uh, now it's what I've been doing. I ate breakfast. Uh, actually, Skylar slept over. She's been here for the past two days. And, uh, she was kind of giving me, like, moral support as I was working on the new series last night. So, that was really cool. Shout out to Skylar. Um, anyways, we're gonna go into, I guess, Pip. I guess Pip is the smartest choice. I'm honestly not too sure. I forgot what Pokemon he had. I don't think he has anything too intimidating. I, th I don't think, or she, I should be saying. I don't think she has anything too intimidating. I think, uh... Pip should be just fine here. Yeah, it's just a Weeping Bell. That is perfectly A-OK. -okay. We'll go for the cut on Weeping Bell. Actually, I probably should have... Let me let me switch out uh, and go into Furt here, because I feel like Furt will have a better chance of knocking out this Weeping Bell than Skip Bloom. Skip Bloom doesn't really have access to a lot of uh, a lot of different moves outside of Grass-type attacks. We do have Solar Beam, but that's not going to be doing much to Weeping Bell. So we're going to go for the cut on Pip. Absolutely slice this fool in half. Did you see those eyes? This man's bulging. This man's bulging up a storm. He goes for the Grass Knot. Luckily, that's neutral, thanks to the steel typing. Thank goodness. Look, you go. Pip's got on his nicest suit. He's ready to go to the prom. Look at him go, man. I'm so proud of him, man. He's a fully grown individual, and I respect that. We're going to go for the crunch on Wheaton Bell, and I think that should be that. Uh, I don't really see this man live in a double team from an Empoleon as well as the Steelix. That was a much easier finale than I expected. We got really, really lucky with the mods that we got access to. Um, and thank goodness I didn't bring the Dark Rider Suicune. That was what was screwing us over because whoever had those Pokemon basically won. And uh, thank goodness I've now learned my mistake. We've progressed and now the Neon Coliseum is over! It's about... Flippin' time! I am done with this Colosseum! Literally and metaphorically, just screw it. Screw this Colosseum, man. Absolutely screw it. I mean, I- This used to be one of my favorite Colosseums, and then just the struggles that we had throughout this Colosseum had made me just- Whew, made me just despise it. But now we can finally make some more progress and batter evolution. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. You guys ready for this? Throw in the points. Thank you. I want to customize my character. I appreciate it. Also, the Pikachu gloves and new battle pass will be- Ooh, a new battle pass! New battle pass! Yeah, I should definitely go back to the Gateway Coliseum and, uh, and unlock those, those other rental passes. Um, if you guys would be interested in, in potentially doing a stream, uh, about that, that'd be really cool. We could literally just stream us going to the Gateway Coliseum and unlocking those other rental passes. It could give us a lot of, uh, a lot of options, you know? And it seems like a lot of those passes are actually really cool. A mystery gift? Hmm... 
Oh, you can buy items and send them over to the pro game. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and customize a character, though. First of all, we need a beanie. Um, shoot, why does it not give you a picture of the of the of the hat? That's so weird, man. Actually, I think we already have a beanie. Now that I think about it, I'm trying to think about the character right now. I think we're good. Um, I do want to do some character customization, but, I mean, what can we really do? I don't think there's really a better outfit that could represent us. Uh, maybe the ocean t-shirt? Let's just, let's just buy this. Let's just buy the ocean t-shirt. Why not? Why not? I'll, maybe it has Lapras on it. I, I don't know why they don't show you a picture of the, um, of the outfit. That's kind of dumb that they don't, to be honest. Where do you change clothes? I want to put on my new t-shirt, dude. Let me put on my new t-shirt. Is it in the, in the actual custom pass? I bet it is. I bet it is. Let me... Character customization. Appearance. Um... Top. Let's see. Ocean t-shirt. Okay. So it doesn't have a Lapras on it. But hey, that's something, man. That's something. I'll take it. Can we just... I don't understand why you can't just buy clothes from here. That is the dumbest thing. Alright. I mean, it's cool that they have character customization in this, um... In this game, but the way they go about it is incredibly dumb. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the Crystal Coliseum. I am more than ready. My body is Reggie. We've completed four Coliseums. I don't know how many Coliseums are in this game. I honestly totally forgot. But uh, it seems like we're making some good progress. Or at least now that we finally beat the Neon Coliseum. It's like half the freaking LP was just in the Neon Coliseum. We have a tournament battle, though. A tournament battle with 16 contestants. The winner will be able to challenge the Colise Coliseum leader. Okay. So this should be pretty different. It's gonna, gonna be a double battle style, but now we get to actually use our own mons. So hopefully, you know, we won't won't be able to um, allow luck to stand in our way. Tournament match battle something something. All right, we have a lot of different names here. So it's literally just a tournament. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We have Larissa here. How you doing, Larissa or Larissa? Larissa? I don't know, but I am loving that hat. Oh my god. We have Dolly Bird, Celia, Pucci, and Snover, Castro, and Ryan. Very, very interesting team here. Uh, we'll go ahead and rock out with Straptor, I feel like. Uh, we'll also grab Luke. We need four Pokemon. We'll grab my son, because of course, how could I go anywhere without him? And then we'll grab Furret as well. So I think that'll be good. We're going to rock out with this team as of right now. If you guys have any suggestions as to how you guys want us to change the team up, uh, drop them down below. If you guys missed the previous episode, I'm pretty sure I showed off the uh, the Pokemon that we had access to. From the blue corner, Star Raptor, Wait for it. Wait for it. And from the red corner, Poochiena, Haspor. Here they come. Freaking love this Coliseum! Oh, the songs, the music! It's so nostalgic. It is so incredibly nostalgic here. All right, we're gonna go for the close combat on Pushiana. This should be incredibly easy. We'll go for the Thunder on Castform. I really don't see these people putting up too much of a threat. Now, actually, I did hear from you guys, and I don't think I ever actually made it this far in the game. But apparently, in some of the later Coliseums, they have legendaries. Like, the last Coliseum, like, the dude has a freaking Mewtwo or something, which is incredibly hype, not even gonna lie. I cannot wait till we get to that part of the game. Which, we're actually kind of getting there. I mean, we're making progress, and when we do encounter those, uh, those types of battles, we're definitely gonna have to bring some legendaries of our own. We do have that Suicune, we do have that Darkrai. We could even go back through and see if we can trade some of you guys. That did nothing. Oh, I know why it did nothing. I know why it did nothing, because everybody's set to level... F uh, or not everybody, but the opponent's Pokemon are set to our highest. It's not like the Neon Coliseum where they're all the same level. That is dumb. That is dumb. So Luke is literally useless. Ah, uh, uh, This is dumb. This is dumb. Okay. Um, shoot. So if everything's going to be level 59, how much of our team is actually going to be usable here? This is this is going to be a pain. This is going to be a pain. I, I thought, here I was thinking like, yes, we're finally out of the Neon Coliseum. We finally have the ability to make progress. The rest of these battles are going to be a breeze. That was my thought process, right? But then, but then this happens. I totally forgot that not every Coliseum has the same leveling rules as the Neon Coliseum. I, I, I was literally just getting used to it, too. That's dumb. That's dumb. Alright, so Luke is completely, utterly useless. Unless we go grind him up in Pearl. Man, I really don't want to grind. 
I don't want to be that guy, but I don't want to grind. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, especially because if we're trying to get everybody to, like, level 50, it's going to be a long process. And I guess, yeah, we could stream it and stuff, but... Oh, uh, this is going to be a pain. This is going to be a pain. We might have to switch around the team. I, I, I'm almost tempted to just forfeit right now and rearrange and just get it to where all of our Pokemon are in the 50s. Because we could make a full team out of 50s. Uh, no problem. I don't see why we couldn't. Let's go for the Water Spout, though. I mean, my son's level 45. That's something. That's something. So we're kind of within range here. We'll go for the... Uh, I guess the Rock Tomb? Rock Tomb on Cast Form? I really don't know. So I feel like my son as well as Steelix can be pretty useful. We're just going to have to maybe make it to where our highest level is, like, exactly level 50. So, like, make Staraptor our highest level. That way we can just, um, you know, have more of a chance with Waylord and Steelix. But, anyways, that sucks. That sucks. You see, I should have I should have realized that. I definitely should have realized this. But look at these two behemoths on the field. Can we just talk about that for a second? Can we just talk about that? We have my son as well as Steelix on the field. Or for it. As I should be saying, but look at these beautiful beasts. I love them so much, man. The other gonna go for the present. Oh, shout out to Samta, by the way, in case you guys um in case you guys are, are curious, that's a reference to the Pokemon Crystal Chain monologue randomizer that we're doing on the channel right now. If you guys aren't watching that series, I highly recommend it. If you guys do want a peep at shameless plug, uh, we're gonna go for the rock team. We're gonna miss though. Come on, fur it! You had one job, fur it! I don't understand why you can't do this, fur it. I'll go for the Brian on Bird. That should be playing to finish him off. And, I mean, I guess we're doing well. Maybe we can just rock out with this team for as long as it works. Um, I mean, I, if we're winning, then I guess it doesn't really matter. You know, we don't need to, like, prioritize changing up the team if it's working. You know what I mean? We're just going to have to, I guess, not use Luke. Because Luke really can't do much with how low-leveled he is. I don't know. We'll see. But look at this Coliseum, man. I love this so much. I love this so much. This game is so incredibly beautiful. And also, actually, I just saw on Twitter yesterday, June 25th, is, uh, or was, the 11th anniversary of this game. So this game literally just turned 11, which is absolutely nuts. It's kind of crazy to think that, um, that, uh, that we're now in the position, we're now at the point in time where this, this game had another birthday. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Alright, so... We have three level 40s, uh, two level 50s, and then Luke here. So we'll grab the two level 50s, 100%. I feel like we just got to rock out with that. Uh, we'll grab Ness, just because I want to make use of Ness. And then we'll grab we'll grab my son. Um, I feel like even though we have three water types, this man's entire team is weak to water. He has a full ground type team. This is where, this is where we have problems. All right? Actually, we have the solutions. He has the problems. We're sitting over here dishing out solutions like a freaking uh, math teacher giving out the answers. And this guy is failing the test. Even with those nerdy glasses, he's not passing. I guarantee it. Hayden here, though, is going to send in the Vibrava and the Marsh Tom. I don't know what I'm thinking. As I already said, uh, I am extremely tired today. So, yeah, if my commentary is off the wall, that's, that's why. We're going to go for the Brave Bird. We're just going to go all out on Vibrava. And then we'll go for... Um, We'll go for Hydro Pump on Marsh Tom. I feel like that's smart. We just got to hit him with our most powerful attack right off the bat. No hesitation. He's going to go for the Protect, though. Absolutely negating all probability of me hitting him. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I don't know why, but that totally reminded me. Um, I guess, like, minor spoilers for uh, Gurren Lagan. There's a point in Gurren Lagan where uh, they control probability. And I don't know why, but, like, the thought of that is just so crazy to me. And I don't even know why it came to mind. I was just thinking about it. In case you guys don't know, Gurren Lagann is in my top seven anime. It's one of the only shows I've given a perfect 10 out of 10. And uh, it's an incredible show if you guys have not seen it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's about, like, big mechs and, and, and like, growth and character development. And it's, it's a crazy show. Super, super action-packed. It's kind of an old show, but uh, super action-packed and just incredibly entertaining. Uh, we're going to go for, I guess, the Brine. To finish off Marsh Tomp, I feel like that's reasonable. Look at my boy. New Coliseum, new shirt. You know what? That's what we should do. That's what we should do. Every single Coliseum we go to, let's just change our shirt. How about that? Speaking of shirts, though, repping the hottest merch in the game. Shop.original151.com. You guys already know. Shout out to my boy, Vinny. Uh, but speaking of merch, 
speaking of merch, your boy's been working behind the scenes, and I've been making some moves in terms of our own merch shop. And all I'm going to say is look out for it. I'm going to be commissioning the designs really, really soon. If you guys have any suggestions for a, a t-shirt design or like a mug design, I want to sell mugs, I want to sell posters. If you guys have any ideas for any sort of designs you guys want to see in the merch shop, drop them down below. I've been making a list on my computer and I'm trying to commission as many designs as possible. So if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys have any references on the channel, any memes on the channel that I might have missed, uh, comment down below. I can actually read you guys off the list if you guys would like to hear it. Let me choose my move here and then I'll go and read it off to you guys just so you guys don't put repeats down below that I already have. Um, but yeah, no, I would absolutely 100% appreciate it if you guys would, would drop suggestions because this video does go up on the same day that I'm recording it, so... Uh, we should be able to get some immediate feedback. But anyways, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me peep this. Okay, here we go. I have the list pulled up. So, the ideas that I have so far, I have Willem, which is our whale that now lives in Michigan. Uh, Ice Milker, which has now become a brand new meme on the channel. By the way, side note, rest in peace, Drafter. Uh, Insignificant from the Soul Link. We have Bop! We have a base Lapras design. Uh, that's just kind of like a simplistic, just like a Lapras somewhere on there. We have a Get Fisted design, we have a Cheese it design, and then I also plan on bringing back the Whirlpool of Sea 10k t-shirt design, which I'll go ahead and throw on screen right now. BOP! BOP! So, yeah, that was the first t-shirt I ever sold, or the first and only t-shirt I've ever sold. And I figured I would bring it back for the merch shop in case you guys wanted to scoop one up. So... Those are the design ideas that I have. If you guys uh, have one that I haven't mentioned, then uh, be sure to drop it down below. I would be more than happy to um, to uh, to look into that and and get suggestions from you guys because that would honestly help me a lot. Uh, as of right now, I've been kind of working behind the scenes, like setting up the actual shop on Teespring. The reason why it's taking me so long is because I really, really, really wanted to open the doors to beanies. I wanted you guys to be able to buy custom beanies. That was like an essential product that I wanted on the shop. Unfortunately, though, after doing a ton of research over these past couple of months, it does not seem possible uh, for me to sell custom beanies to you guys just because of like the difficulty of printing on a beanie and like not a lot of services do it and the services that do do it, the quality is just absolutely atrocious so uh what i've decided is we're just going to stick with teespring and if teespring eventually down the line decides to allow us to print beanies i would be more than happy to take advantage of that but with that all being said we're going to go ahead and quick save and wrap this episode up here thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of battle revolution if you guys enjoyed hit that like button comment down below subscribe all the great kind of stuff and i will see you dudes in the next video peace Is this the Krusty Krab? No! This is Patrick!